What's up everybody? Today is Tuesday, June 30th. Today I'm going to tackle a project in my front yard that I've had ever since we moved into our house about seven years ago. And the issue that we have is that we have what's called creeping bent grass. And creeping bent grass is something that you've probably seen if you've ever been to a golf course. The greens and the tee boxes are typically creeping bent grass. But sometimes it gets mixed in with residential lawns like it is in mine and it can cause issues because like the name suggests, it creeps and it kind of blocks out the other good grasses in your lawn. Creeping bent grass is very high maintenance. In order to keep it nice, you have to cut it very short. It needs a lot of fertilizer. It's susceptible to diseases and fungus and that's why I want to get it out of my lawn today. There's a few different options that you have when it comes to getting rid of creeping bent grass. The first one would be to just use Roundup and kill off the whole area. Um, it's recommended that you go about a foot outside of where the bent grass is because the bent grass has what's called stolons and it's like an above ground root system that allows it to spread and creep into the healthy lawn areas. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna kill off my yard and kill the good grass that I have. And I don't wanna have a big brown spot in my lawn for most of the summer and hope that the seed comes in and battle weeds and all that stuff. Another option that you have would be to use what's called tenacity. And tenacity is a selective herbicide and it's gonna kill that creeping bent grass and it would keep the good Kentucky bluegrass that I have intact, but tenacity is expensive and I don't wanna spend a hundred bucks on a bottle of tenacity just for this project. So the last option is what I'm gonna go with today. I hope it works. And that is to cut out that grass. So I'm gonna dig out all the creeping bent grass. I'm gonna dig down low enough to get all the roots. I'm gonna fill in some topsoil and I bought some sod at my local nursery, 100% Kentucky bluegrass sod that's made locally so you know it's gonna be compatible with the local soil. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna cut out that area. I'm gonna replace it with new sod and hopefully uh, it works out for me. If you've never seen creeping bent grass before, this area right here is all creeping bent grass. The reason I don't like it, one is because in the springtime, it takes a lot longer to turn green than the rest of the lawn. So there's these patches of brown areas that look like they're dead or diseased. I don't like that. Two is it spreads, and I don't want, to want it to continue to spread, so I'm gonna take care of it today, hopefully knock it out. And again, this stuff, this is all creeping bent grass. You can see it's brown because it has some fungus issues going, going on right now. I don't like it, I don't like the way it looks. It doesn't match with the rest of the grass. And again, it's got this kind of shallow root system that goes near the top of the soil. So I'm hoping I don't have to dig out too deep today. I'll keep digging until I continue to see roots. Once I don't see roots anymore, that'll be where I'll, where I'll stop. I'll put in some topsoil, put the new sod on, and hope it doesn't come back. So this area of creeping bent grass right here, the way I'm gonna get rid of this or cut it out or figure out exactly how much I should cut to make it look nice, is I'm gonna roll the sod out over top of that. I'm gonna put the entire piece of sod on here, even though the piece is bigger than the actual area of bent grass, that's okay. Because I'm just gonna replace it with one piece of sod. I'll edge around the outside with my sod cutter. Then I'll move the piece of sod. I'll already have my outline. I'll cut all that grass out. I'll dig down a little bit, make sure I get all the roots out. I'll fill in any soil that I need to replace. And then I'll put the brand new sod right over top of that.
just did in the front yard, the same concept can be used on any kind of issue that you might have in your grass. For example, my backyard that I cut really low, I cut it like a golf course. There's a couple spots that have had some fungus problems and it left a big orange spot. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to another spot that I cut with the real mower. It's in an area where you don't really see things very much. So I'm gonna cut out a good piece of grass from over there and I'm gonna bring it over to one of the main spots in our yard that you see all the time. Here's one of the fungus spots that I'm talking about. Every time I walk by this, it drives me crazy. Everything else looks great. And then there's this one yellow spot because of fungus. So I'm gonna cut out a piece from that other area, bring it over and transplant it. spot that was dead looking and ugly is now gone. I mowed everything. I gave it a little bit of water and I pressed it down and rolled it to make sure it was nice and smooth. Golf courses do this. They have areas where they have reserved grass where if something goes bad, they can cut out a piece, put it in wherever they need it. You can do that too in your own yard. So today it's been 10 days since I did the creeping bent grass removal. Just giving you an update. After 10 days, the sod's taken really well. I pulled up on it. It's got roots. You can see it still doesn't blend in perfectly, but if I give it another month or so, this grass is gonna blend in. You wouldn't even be able to tell I did anything to it. So as of right now, I don't see any creeping bent grass coming back. It probably won't show for another, probably next spring until you would actually be able to tell if it's gonna come back or not, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. I'm happy with the results. It's pretty green, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.